is an MMO! What?! I am literally Satan defending Minas Tirith from the demon spawns of hell! Holy balls! Mm, I like it. Guys, welcome to a video where we are going to check out Kingdom Under Fire 2, a RTS MMORPG. Yeah, an RTS MMORPG. What is that, you might be wondering? Well, that's the same question that I had, so we're going to find out. We're going to check this thing out. But first, I would like to say thank you to Gameforge for sponsoring this video, tossing me a beta key, and letting me check out their game early. So let's hop in, everybody. Let's check this game out. Let's see if it's worth a hoot. That tutorial kicked ass. Like, fuck. That was probably one of the best MMO game tutorials I've ever done. There is some massive Lord of the Rings inspiration and Lord of the Rings vibes going on. I mean, you got like big elf titties and stuff. <laughs> and and I mean, Tolkien might not have been a fan of that, but like, the, but the giant cities and the sieges and shit. Look at my guy, man. I'm like Illidan. If Illidan was cool, let's talk to this lady, F. All right, so I think I, I'm getting the story. There's this country, it's called Azalea or Azelia, and it has been invaded by someone. I'm not entirely sure who yet, but the country has been destroyed. We lost our kingdom and king. Got it. Okay, so there is gear. What's this? Appearance. It's like transmog, I assume. Got titles. That's a lot of titles. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me, guys. Aurel gone, the big boy. <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting from this game, and I could be wrong, this is like a first impression sort of thing. Uh, you're like a general, or you become one, I guess, and you get like troops, kind of like in Mountain Blade Warband, maybe, for anybody that's ever played that game. And you can like level your troops up, because I see rank up and stuff here. I'm anxious to see you in action. Yeah, dude, give me that sword, you bitch. All right, so the game has gone from like the whole like war thing, like fighting for the city. And now it's sort of like more of a, uh, I don't know, like a sort of general questing thing. Like, you know, go out, kill these guys. You know, we need to make sure our camp is safe. And I like that. There's kind of like a combination of that strategy side of things and also like an MMO side of things. It's like they're hitting both markets. What's that? Whoa, dark confinement. What, what is all this? Hold on, I got like powers. I don't know what all this means. T. How do I like become man? B. K, maybe. No, K. Okay, what's this? Whoa. Skill list. Look at all these abilities. What am I looking at? Dark energy. So there's like combo abilities. Hold on. So I'm going to right click. And then, whoops, I fucked up. Hold on. So I'm going to do this. Right click. Right click. Oh, wow. Okay. Neat. Let me try out this new ability. What? <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, wait, what's this? A chest. Kobold firepower. Or fire powder. <laughs> Shut up. I can read. I promise. Look at my hand, dude. Like, talk about standing out in a crowd. This is where the game shines. Just senseless slaughter and violence. This is what I like. Be gone, barrels. This guy's tough. Help me. Help me, friend. Thompson, help. Ah, G. Thompson, help me, you useless pip. I got him. Thompson, I think this is it. We're not high enough level and we haven't unlocked Whirlwind yet. But suddenly, uh, guy. I like how the heroes are really big and, the, and there's the little people. It's kind of like For Honor. I know I'm referencing a lot of games here, but I, there's so many vibes, man. I like it. I got uh, new gloves and I got some hero skills. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a player hub. This is where I would see other people. Whoa, hold on. Another people. Samantha, it's good to see you. You're looking rather bustulous. <laughs> you, gainers. Help me get mad gains in the gym. So far, every single NPC that I've spoken to is either crying or complaining about something. Look, it's Geralt of Rivia. I will say that the game has this nice balance of like high energy, like big, like action combat. And then like, you know, things slow down a little bit. You go and you're like healing people, you're gathering elk meat, you're killing spiders and all that shit. So it's not like you're doing the same thing over and over to the point that you get tired of doing one thing. You know what I mean? And that's pretty cool. So for those wondering, this game is currently on medium graphics. There's like a chapel out there. 
Um, the only reason why I have it turned down a little bit is because when I did, uh, when I was doing the initial tutorial with those like big battles and stuff, it was pretty like, you know, graphics card intensive on my PC. And so I had to turn it down a bit. So this is not at max settings, just so you guys know. Now also, there were more classes than just this one that I'm currently playing. Like I'm playing as a berserker right now, but you could also play as an archer, an elementalist, and I think there was one other class. I don't remember the name of it, but I can put it up on the video like right, right now. There you go, come here. Look at this guy, this guy's huge. Nice, dude. You got like the execute abilities and stuff. Let, let's check out the world as well. Like, why not? Uh, so we've got, oh shit. So it seems like we also have all these other places that we can go to. Like we're currently in this country, Azalea. And we're like in this one zone in Azalea. Can I like uh, zoom out please? There we go. Then you have Dray North, Hexter, Eastern Settlement. So I don't know the lore of this game. I mean, I just started playing it, but from what I understand, this is a country, Azalea, and you have all these other countries, and I think they're like just in this competition with each other, and I don't know about these that I can't click on yet. Maybe they're coming later on in the beta, like they just haven't been patched in, but I, we will see. Let's keep exploring. Nice. Drift. Oh, dude, I got a title. Drifter. All right. I do got one question about this game, all right, and the lore and the world and stuff. Look at all these people, just normal humans going about their day, dancing around, stretching, you know, being drunk and shit. And then there's me, the devil, just walking around, like helping fight people and stuff. Like, what the heck is going on? So we've prepared a gift for you. He's getting me a gift? Dude, he got me, oh, I was just thinking like, man, I really want a mount in this game. He got a horse. Wait, press Y to activate the mount window. Oh, what? oh my God, what am I looking at? They got some cool mounts and then press Q. Dang, dude, look at that. Can I like run faster with it? If I, he can like jump, he can go like, Ugh. these people are saying the wolves are dangerous and a threat to the village. I'm just not seeing it. I don't know what they're talking about. So far I am really enjoying this game. I mean, it's still too early to formulate like a true opinion but i am having fun uh tower of moonlight start mission i can wait organize troops okay i have no troops because i'm a loser okay so it's like there's missions that you go on and that's probably where you use your soldiers and in the open world you do more like simple quests and stuff to like level up wait what's this strategy mode enables you to control your heroes or troops i've been waiting for this select select your hero and change strategy mode tilda what am I looking at? <laughs> Issue the hero's fork command to your troops. C. Yes, protect me. Right click. Oh my God. This is amazing. I have never before played an MMO like this. I don't know if another MMO like this exists, but I don't know about it, but this is incredible so far. Wait, oh my gosh. Wait, in strategy mode, your hero enters basic attack mode. To control your hero, you must change to action mode. Tab is to change to action mode. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. Press C and your troops will attack your target. Attack, my friends, go. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. Destroy them. All troop strategies have been changed to hero support. Nice. Rage mode. Glenn, yes, Glenn, save us. We need reinforcements. Yeah, dude, General Glenn charging in the ride of the Rohirrim. Oh my God. We did it. Can I go back into like this mode? Yes. <gasps> Look at them. Defensive strategy, everyone. Shields up. Select the archer troop. Uh, oh no, they're destroying my guys. F2 is archer troops. Okay, got him. Fire at will. Destroy the winged worm. Archer skills, what's this? Upgraded rapid fire. Rapid fire, everyone. Bring them down. 
They shall break upon our bodies like water to a rock. I feel like the arrows are landing on our own guys. This must be the moonlit tower. Yeah. Oh shit. Everyone attack. Oh dude, it gives you like a troop counter. Let's see. F2. Archers. Fire on this scorpion. Use rapid fire. Nice, dude. Troops attack. Fight with me. Our soldiers are dying. Use angry power. So you're telling me there are like big units like scorpions and there's like anti-tank units like guns and shit in the game? Dude, the PvP possibilities are endless with this. Let's go to the tower. I <laughs> see my guy was like, <laughs> oh, here we go. Clear time, clear points, damage points, participation, death penalty. Look at my guy, <laughs> big old cocky asshole. Uh, a clear bonus, hero XP three. Whoa, what's this? Uh, oh. Oh, so you like choose a thing. Oh. A troop coin. <gasps> coin obtained from general machine can be exchanged for troop vision stone. I don't even know what that means. Adventurer greatsword. 36 to 40. Oh my god. My the one I got is 9 to 10. Dude, the possibilities of this game are absolutely endless. Like I, I it's still beta too. Like I'm seeing some small hiccups here and there, like maybe some, you know, some Korean font, you know, maybe a spelling mistake in one of the dialogues or whatever or something, you know, doesn't line up with the voice acting. But so far the game feels very solid. I also was told in my email by the developers that the game is going to have an in-game cash shop. However, it is not going to be paid to win. Now, I don't know like what specifically is going to be in there, but it's just a bunch of cosmetic stuff, yada, yada, yada. You know, they're trying to make like a good MMO RTS an MMO RTS. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it here, though, guys, because, you know, we've gotten to play for over an hour now. Or that's how long I've been playing. I've got to see the character progression. I got some items. I got some skills. I got to command some troops. I'm getting some of the in-game currencies and I'm going to play this game again. I'm going to do one more video for this later on this month and we're going to play it a bit more. Why was that girl scared of me? Or maybe she was just doing a squat. I don't know. She's trying to, trying to get her leg gains going on so she can look more like me. I mean, look at me. I'm like a fucking muscle titan. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching the video. And if you think the game looks interesting, give the video a like and be sure to leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts on what you've seen so far. Have you heard about this game? What does it look like to you, man? Does it look fun? Does it look, uh, what do you think? And if you want to learn more about Kingdom Under Fire 2, you can always check out the description of this video because I'll be putting some information in there. So check that out. I would also like to take a moment to thank the team behind this game for contacting me in the first place because this is pretty fucking cool and I'm excited to keep playing it and recording it and showing you guys more of what I find because I've only just started. So we'll, we'll do more videos later. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. And yeah, man. I'll see ya.